Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Hever still, just on Hever Castle, the 1940s uh, reenactment weekend. And you've got to come, because of the Anne Boleyn collection, connection, collection, connection, I had to come next door to St Peter's Church. We have been here before, uh, over the years. It, I mean, the last time I got in there when it was open was about 15 years ago, so hopefully it's open. But yeah, Hever Church here has been a place of prayer for at least 900 years. The church was built about 800 years ago to replace the early Norman church. In the church is the tomb of Sir Thomas Bullen, the father of Anne Boleyn and grandparent father of Queen Elizabeth I. We're just opposite King Henry VIII pub, which we've been in numerous times over the years. Lovely pub that. But I'm not eating there though. Um, yeah, a quick look around. I think the last time we was here was about 2010, probably 2010. Um, have a look around the outside. Say so 13th century, but obviously on the site of a much, much older church. Al was telling me that the grave of Karen Keating, daughter of Gloria Hunniford, the uh, television presenter is in this churchyard but I don't know where it is um, it's lovely lovely surroundings all the commotion that's going on at Hever with the 1940s event it's so peaceful here absolutely lovely Here we are, St Peter's Church. And one thing I didn't remember from last time, there's some wall paintings, uh, exposure of some wall paintings, medieval wall painting. I don't remember that from when we were here last. That's quite cool, I love, you know me, I love wall paintings. Ancient brass. Here lieth the body of Robert Humphreys, Lord of the Manor of Hever in the county of Kent, 1736. And here is the tomb of Thomas Bullen, father of Anne Boleyn, and the grandfather of Queen Elizabeth, who will come on to become Queen Elizabeth I in the Elizabethan era. So such a very significant person. Wow. Here we go. Here lies uh, Thomas Bullen, uh, Knight of the Order of the Garter, 1538. Wow. It's amazing, it's a quick look on the side. William Body. Yeah, there's a few brasses and tombs in this church. Um, still another wall painting. It's uh, very peaceful. Getting a bit of a head in here, actually. That's interesting. Oh, God, Mark, you're going on about that again. <laughs> so it's not psychic, I just feel energies. And um, I always say that these churches, I say this is an ancient church, so it's probably built on an energy current that we've sort of lost over time. Just a theory that ancient man was much more in tune with the landscape and the energies of the landscape. Please do not walk on this ancient tomb. Why would you? Ancient chess, what's that? 15th century or written? 15th century? Wow. I 
love this. The Rectors of Hever. Going right back to 1200. La Neve, Neve. I'm not even trying to, uh, we're going to go back to 1957 here. But 1200, so an ancient parish, ancient parish. And again, there's a great guidebook. I know you can find this stuff online, but I have to give a little bit of cash to the uh, upkeep of the church. But I've got to start bringing in money. I'm always saying it, Mark, bring some money in so you can buy a guidebook. So there. Yeah, very peaceful. I'm really glad it's open. I've been here to come here for a long time. Um, yeah, just a little video. As I was in Hever, I thought, let's pop in and have a look. Peter's at Hever. For 750 years many people have worshipped in this church and have kept its fabric intact. Now our practitioners are few in number, although happily our visitors come here in hundreds and very welcome you are. Is that nice? Is religion really dying out? Does it have a place in the modern world? More people are more, I think, more spiritual now. Um, just an opinion. Looking at higher consciousness, what's really going on? Interesting. So there you go, just a quick visit to St Peter's Church in Hever, just by the King Henry VIII pub. Um, yeah, been good. A lot of nostalgia. I remember coming here a couple of times with um, our friend Alan, who was a psychic, who's no longer with us, so it's a bit, I feel a bit emotional actually, to be honest. He used to love it around here as well. Um, yeah, but if you like this little video, Please like, subscribe, tell us your Tudor tales, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.